All right, good evening, everybody. Uh, happy New Year Eve and Happy New Year for everyone. I'm here with the Master Eamon uh, doing the recap, the last recap of the year. I unfortunately hey, uh, missed the trading at the open um, because I was yesterday, I was climbing, uh, uh, ice climbing, and I was so tired. My whole body is in pain and it's sore. So I just needed a little bit of a sleep and I woke up quickly check my phone realize oh, there's nothing in, in play and I just said you know what I can ex I can use an extra couple of hours of sleep uh, I came uh, to the chat room like around this time and I saw B bio is sitting the scanner and is running up and I could get a really really nice short on it and I am still actually short on that so uh, see if we can get to uh, to the weave app so I'm uh, so I got this uh, short on B bio at the 1725 that's the daily level that we had so it popped up I started adding to my short position until now we got the collapse on it the positions the TNA that I have the covered calls I'm gonna collect uh, so they're gonna go ex uh, worthless uh, to expire for today TNA is not gonna hit uh, the nine uh, the 95 so I'm gonna collect 3,000 on this QYLD is a long-term hold that I have and TNA I'm gonna hold this uh, 92 hopefully by New Year, we're gonna hit that, and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna end the day pretty solid uh, end the year. So that was a really good year for me, and uh, yeah, that was the only thing that I had. Uh, you know, BBIO was a really nice reversal from 1725 level, and uh, you know, it might it might bounce back, or I might hold this couple of thousand shares and see in the afternoon if it get to uh, 16. How was your day, Eamon? <clears throat> it was a good day, and I'm actually happy to have ended my uh, day also green today. Uh, and like you have taken more trades, I've taken four trades today. Uh, if you can see my screen, uh, two of them were on uh, AAL. I tried to short AAL based on the daily chart. There was a reverse hammer on the previous day. On the five minute chart, zooming it slightly back, I noticed this low around here, which coincided with the 200 moving average in the five minute chart. Mm -hmm. I started my short in the pre-market, got two partial, two fills around here. And uh, the first trade failed. My stop loss was around here. I got quickly out literally to the penny. Emotions triggered, uh, revenge trading, re-entered the exact uh, after a few minutes and lost on this one as well. Yeah. I also played AMD, three yeah. attempts, and AMD was also to the short side. While they played oh, on yeah, the nice. 60 minute chart, there is a, a channel around here. And on the previous day, we held the, pre the, the support. Uh, it became a resistance around here. Played it to the short side, it got me stopped out, and it kept going higher. But I was still short buys on this thing, and the reason is looking at the SPY and the Qs, they were actually weak. There is a channel around here on the SPY, there it is, and today we were holding below it. We did have a nice squeeze at the open, $2 squeeze to the upside, but there was a 200 moving average around here, and I knew that this might actually be a trap. Not sure, but most probably this could be a trap. Strong opening, but going into a resistance from the channel, into a resistance, which is the 200 moving average on the five minute chart. Uh, kept an eye on AMD, shorted it here on the one minute chart. Once the spy started waking out, it wicked me out literally to the penny, so I re entered for a parabolic reversal. And I just held it. This one I held it for so long just to be able to make sure that I can cover all the losses that I had on the previous trades. Perfect. So where was that? So I have a question for you, Eamon. Um, so uh, what's yeah. the, what's your goal for next year? So my goal for the next year is to stop canceling the orders. So I've, I'm a emotional guy and I am not as patient as many traders. I try to be patient. But uh, I'm impulsive. I take, if I lose, I can re-enter into a trade. If I uh, like something, I jump into it. And that's why the last year or the last few months, I've been working on a trading style that's mainly automated. It's a style where I analyze the daily and the 60 minute chart and I set my orders in advance. I wait for my orders to get filled. Then I set my orders uh, for targets and I wait for them to get filled. I try not to scalp, not to enter impulsively based on something that I see on the chart right now. So that kind of solved some of the pro psychological problems that I had. The other problem that I have is sometimes like today, stock goes into my entry point, which is down here, but I get nervous slightly and I cancel that order, especially if I started my day red by two or three losers, or if I'm already green or barely green and the stock gets into my entry, I tell myself, let me just call it a day, which is green, rather than risking uh, a potential loss awesome. around here. So awesome. the next year, I'm definitely not doing that. Uh, if I have a limit order because my, my trade is planned in advance and if it goes 
and starts following my plan. It gets into my entries. I just keep, keep it, no canceling at all. We'll see if awesome. I can fix that for the next awesome. year. Awesome, thank you. One more important thing. In January, I'm going to start swing trading, and that's it. Swing trading, oh, but don't uh, don't swing yeah. trade TNA, and then that's for sure. All right, guys. Uh, well, happy. <laughs> that's for sure. Happy holidays, happy new year to everybody. Uh, it was an amazing year for all of us. Uh, it went by really fast, but uh, it was an honor to do the last recap with Eamon himself. And uh, hopefully, yeah, see you on Monday morning. And, uh, uh, you know, I wish everyone a new year. Enjoy the time, the new year Eve with friends and family. And tomorrow, uh, the new year, uh, recover from the hangover and uh, make sure that uh, you come a Monday morning sharp and solid. Hopefully we have more uh, volatility in the market and we're going to have another amazing year all together. Thank you for staying with us and thank you so much for, uh, yeah, so for support, uh, all of you guys in YouTube, in the community, for all of the support, discussions, uh, and to help us to be a better community. We are a small community where well, we want to be a very high quality and laid back and, uh, you know, a chill uh, community. Thank you for, yeah, for all of your support and happy new year. Amen. Last thing from you. Happy new year, everyone. Yeah, thank you, Andrew. The honor is mine. Happy new year, everyone. I wish you all achieve your goals and um, achieve all your dreams. The most important thing is to be healthy and uh, happy. Yeah. Excellent. See you next year, guys. See you next year, guys. Bye.